Hello there my friends, welcome to my another video. Last week I've mentioned that um, I'm going to a modeling show and obviously I've already been there um, time-wise but for you I still haven't and today I'm gonna show you the second model that I'm making for this modeling show and it's a model quite close to my heart. I know um, it probably does sound quite stupid but since I was a little guy, uh, boy I was really interested in uh, a specific version of a tractor because my grandma had it and it was like this first uh, moment where I met with a uh, heavy uh, machi machinery and it was really interesting for my child brain and I think from that moment on since I've, uh, you know, went to my grandma's ev and every time I saw the vehicle, I think from that then on I started being more interested in uh, vehicles and then tanks and that infinite uh, inevitably led me to liking building models so it's a quite um, important model for me and I wanted to show you how I build it so you know join me today as I will show you how I uh, build and uh, paint a tiny little tractor as any other model we start by getting the parts off of their spruce it's, uh, it's the same regardless if it's a resin model or a plastic model, but here you have to be very careful because resin is very brittle and it has tendency to crack. And then I glue the parts together with super glue to create tiny little sub assemblies that I will then use for painting. I also used some wire to create those pulling stays that, that pull the wheels so they turn and I made some uh, canvas from paper on the roof and it was time to get right into painting. I started painting the engine bay with German grey. I decided not to prime this model this time because it's really tiny and I was kind of worried about clogging up the details even though I've learned how to not clog them up. but. Still, I didn't prime it, I just went in with the base coat colors right away. Um, these are ordinary Viejo acrylic colors that are diluted with uh, water and applied with a brush. I decided to go with a blue tractor because uh, I already painted several green tractors like this and even the one from last year, the Zetor 25 was green. so. Blue was something I've never done before, I've never painted the blue model, so I wanted to give it a shot and give it a try. Then I started post shading the model as I do with most of my models nowadays. I used very diluted a lighter color than the base one, I dabbed it onto the surface where I wanted it hi di highlighted and then I started just blending it so it looks, you know, more natural. I did it on all of the blue surfaces first. And I continued uh, progressively with lighter and lighter color until I got to almost whitish color because this is how I saw it in the references. Acrylic colors do dry quite fast, so if you don't have a pre paint retarder, I would recommend just working in small sections and really quickly. I am thinking about getting a paint retarder because I can imagine how easier it would be to not leave any tide marks, but you know, that's future. I am really really pleased with how I managed to post shade this tiny little model. Then I painted some of the uh, different parts with white, mainly the canvas roof, the like you know inner wheels and also um, the grill on the front. This is again according to the references but these tractors were very often just repainted by, by their owners 
So whatever you do with them, it probably wouldn't be as unrealistic as you would think. It's something like the Sherman effect, where whatever you do, there, there was probably at least one Sherman, or well, in this case, a tractor that looked very similar to what you did, so... No need to be all that historically accurate, these were civilian vehicles modified very very heavily and then repainted and everything else. I've even seen people do 4x4, um, you know, all-wheel drive variants, which wasn't the factory setting. Then I started post shading the engine as well with, you know, uh, progressively lighter grey colors just to give it some depth at, and also some, um, you know, 3D effect. I painted the lights with grey as well. Um, the thing I did on engine wasn't much of a post shading, it was more or just of just picking the colors up. Then I started painting the exhaust. I uh, painted it first with flat brown and then I dipped it with dark rust and light rust just, you know, to create this randomness in color and more realistic rusty effect. And then all of the details were painted. Here you can see the tractor nicely painted, but not weathered, so this is exactly what we're gonna change now. I start by applying dark grey pin wash. I apply it specifically only around details since this is a really, really tiny model. And then I dilute, well, blend it again with water. Then I started applying some scratches onto the model with very very light blue at first. This needs to be done very carefully because I wanted the scratches to be really fine and look really realistic. And I, then I went over those scratches with uh, dark rust as well. I don't fill the entire scratch because I still want the blue to be visible, so this needs to be even finer than the previous uh, scratching, eff scratching effect. And here is the entire model nicely scratched up and ready for some more weathering. I applied some brown uh, washing uh, around the entire engine and I started scratching it up again with some light grey but also some blue to create this effect that some of the parts were painted blue and they just got really heavily scratched up. And then it was time for some mud, so I first applied um, ammo by MIG acrylic mud. I applied it in areas that I saw were getting most muddy on real vehicles. And then over that I applied a um, Viejo deck 10, very heavily diluted, and I created dust effects. Then I also applied some brown as well. And 
And with this, the tractor was basically finished and it was time to make a teeny tiny little diorama for it. I had this, uh, this leftover piece of styrene from the previous uh, d Moderna diorama. I decided to use it for a tiny little display for the model. So I started uh, cut up a little rectangle from styrene and then I cut it up into smaller rectangles to create the fence. And then I also added, you know, the same acrylic mud onto the block of st styrofoam to create um, groundwork. And then I just stuck in the little fences. Then for painting, I just uh, washed the groundwork with different shades of browns and, uh, you know, buff uh, decta and decten, and I let it you know, wet blend together to create a nice uh, ground effect. What I do all the time is a uh, deck and dry brush over the groundwork as well. Then for the fences, I first base coated them with, uh, an, again, with flat brown. And then I applied different, sh different shades of buff, white and grey, just to create this old wood, te uh, not texture, old wood color. And then I, uh, you know, wet blended it all together. My favorite part of the diorama, I painted the fence with a little flowers that perhaps the owners of the tractors w uh, tractor would maybe paint on the fence or something. I am really really happy with this little detail. It's really cute, it's just blobs of color with a bit of yellow in the middle to just, you know, represent some paintings. I added a few details in form of um, random wood and also a tire inside of the ground. I really like that detail and stuff like that. It was all painted with acrylic colors in the in its, you know, color. <laughs> And then I applied the grass first by applying um, PVA glue onto the ground and then I just poured the grass over the top and I sh shook it off and after it dried the diorama was basically done apart from painting a few little uh, flowers as well so here are the pictures. So the little tractor is done. Again, I can't thank you enough for getting this far into the video that you can hear my stupid monologue again as last time, but I am really, really pleased with how this little guy turned out. Also, the model show that I've mentioned at the beginning of the video and last week, um, I've won second place. So if you don't want spoilers anymore, um, you can uh, click off, but if you do, 
I have quite a lot of uh, projects that I would like to show you um, something that I've never done before not only on this channel but generally I did do it when I was starting as any modeler I was experience experimenting um, but I've won two very interesting models <laughs> and um, they're planes so uh, if you would like to see me build them um, stick around and later on I will get to them and start building them because I'm really really excited for them but I have quite a lot of projects before them that I want to finish so thank you for watching today's video if you enjoy it, enjoyed it please consider subscribing to the channel give it, in, it a like if you would like to perhaps um, support me you can go to my patreon you can choose from two tiers there one of them will give you 1 to 100 scale uh, STLs and you know normal bonuses like pictures and stuff and the second one will give you also um, STLs but for bigger um, scale vehicles and also for conversion sets that I am planning so if you'd like to support me you can go down into the description anyway thank you so so much for watching this video and I will see you next week with um, something a little interesting <laughs>